So 360 supports a number of different file formats. Uh, you know, if we want to be able to view the image files, we can access them directly within 360 and look at the document details. So again, we have the controllers to, to determine who we want to share those files with. Uh, so whether it be a JPEG or even if we were searching for something like a specification in PDF format, again, by doing a quick search, we can locate those files and view them again directly within the cloud. So of course we've also got the ability to view AutoCAD files in their native file format directly within the cloud utilizing the built-in viewers. Again a number of the tools uh, as you'd expect to see being able to pan, zoom in, zoom out, zoom window to particular details of the drawing. We've also got support for layers so being able to toggle on and off different layers. Look at any predefined views or properties of the drawing. If we come to document details, here we can select to download, but we've also got the option to be able to edit online. So, as you'll see, built directly within the web browser, we have AutoCAD WS. So, this gives us the facility to be able to actually make changes to AutoCAD files directly within the cloud without having to have AutoCAD installed onto our machine. Support for paper space, layout and model space, and all the common tools you would expect to see within AutoCAD. In this case, we may do a save as to create a new file. Draw, annotate, insert, view, and here share. So in this part of the demonstration, we're going to look at public sharing. So by toggling on this option here, it gives me a link that I can email directly to a project member, allowing them to download the file. The important difference between private sharing and public sharing is that with public sharing, there's no need for them to have an Autodesk 360 account. They purely receive the email and utilize the link within that email to allow them then to download the drawing. Okay, so here we can see that we've allowed the public sharing to be switched on and we can see that within our activity stream. So now we're going to toggle it off and we're going to look at private sharing. So here if I select edit sharing, I can input an email address for somebody else that might have an Autodesk 360 account and add them as a project member. What I'm then allowed to do is to specify as to what access level I want to give them. And in this case, I might just stay with the view and download only. I can input some uh, correspondence to them and then select to save and invite and in turn they will be emailed a link to the file. So again jumping into their email account they will receive a link at which point they can select that link and log in again specifying their username and password. For the purposes of this demonstration I'm using a slightly different account so you can kind of see the correspondence between the two members. So again we can view the drawing. If we come over to the document details as you can see now there's two project members and what we're able to do is to correspond to one another uh, through the activity stream. So here I can add some comments to say, good stuff, please forward to the remaining members of the team. And again, if we were to log out as a recipient and go back to the original author, We can again straight away see from within our activity stream that he's responded to the drawing. Moving back into our folder structure and navigating down to the file, alternatively creating a search. 
we can again see that correspondence on the right hand side of the window and in turn respond back. So let's have a look at the specific benefits to those on subscription. While many of the Autodesk 360 services are available with a subscription to a commercial standalone product such as AutoCAD, many of these services are designed to work well with the suites. And on this slide you can see a quick overview of the Autodesk 360 services that are compatible with each of the suites. So in order to access the associated subscription benefits, after logging into Cloud Documents, access the link on the right hand side of the interface. Within these links we have utilities that can be downloaded to work with Revit, such as Energy Analysis, a service for gaining an insight into energy consumption and building lifecycle costs, or Structural Analysis, a service allowing you to test the structural integrity of your design, offloading timely and hardware intensive tasks to the, to the cloud. Utilising the Autodesk 360 energy analysis at its core, you also have the available to you Green Building Studio, again an analysis package allowing you to determine the virtual building's total energy use and carbon footprint, consider alternatives to improve energy efficiency, extensive weather data analysis available for the project site, carbon emission reporting for nearly all aspects of the building, daylight analysis, estimated water usage and associated costs in and outside of the building, and natural ventilation potential. So I'm sure we all know the pain of rendering and how that affects your productivity. Rendering on our workstations is time consuming, costly and normally restricted due to the simply the physical limitations of our hardware. The solution? Autodesk 360 Cloud Rendering. With Autodesk 360 Cloud Rendering we reduce rendering time by utilising multiple high-end Autodesk servers. Continue working on other tasks upon your desktop while rendering is processed within the cloud. Reduce costs by eliminating the need for specialised local rendering hardware. So again, let's take a quick look. So in this part of the demonstration, we're going to look at the rendering capability from within Revit utilising Autodesk 360. So under the View tab here, you can see we've got the option to render within the cloud and selecting Continue on this dialog box allows us to select our options. So the first thing we're going to choose is the 3D view. In this case, we're going to go for the fireplace. We're going to select uh, still images. The rendering quality, we're going to go for best. The exposure. And again, the image size. So in this case, we'll go for a large image. And the file format. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we'll utilize the JPEG. And here it's going to notify me by email once that render is complete. So one of the great things here is that we can continue uh, to carry on working whilst the, uh, the cloud renders our image. Okay, so a few moments later we receive an email and that invites us to review our images. So again, we can log in automatically here and view the results. Now if we want them locally, we can utilize the Actions menu here and select to download all. So in order to use some of the cloud-based subscription benefits, you're simply provided a number of cloud units. Cloud units are provided on a per seat basis only, no matter how many users are on any one seat. Within the products, after logging into the cloud, we can quickly review our remaining units in order to clearly see what we have remaining within our allocation. Important, Autodesk are currently in the process of allowing you to buy additional units when you reach your limit. However, for the time being, until this is available, if you reach your limit, they will just allow you to carry on, which is great 
and only promotes the use of this new technology. You will need a certain number of cloud units to use Autodesk 360 rendering, optimization for Inventor, and structural analysis for Revit. Currently it costs, for example, five cloud units to render one image within the cloud. Likewise, it costs three cloud units to run one Inventor optimization job, and it costs three cloud units to perform one structural analysis. So in order to help you get up to speed with Autodesk 360, we have just started posting some new videos within our social media offerings and we'll continue to do so in order for you to fully appreciate how you can utilise these benefits. If you haven't had a chance to have a look yet, I'd heavily recommend it. The best way to get to our links is visiting the homepage of our website or using any of the links from within our email signatures. Of course, if you have any problems, log on to our web support portal and we will then investigate the issue for you and provide any help or applicable training in order for you to get up to speed. So, in order to access your 360 benefits, use the following address and sign up. Thank you for listening.